Hey everyone, welcome to what is the first in a series of tutorial videos that will explain in more depth how to build constructions in the game. In this tutorial we will talk about rigid attachments, that is, how to connect parts together rigidly. So first, holding down Q to bring up the inventory, let's spawn a couple of parts. And I'm going to hold uh, left shift and left click to freeze this one in place, and then bring up another one. Um, and as I bring them together you'll see they um, orientate and position themselves to, to snap together and I can move them around, I can hold down left shift and W, A, S and D to move the part around under the cursor as well um, but let's say we want to position and attach the part right here so press left click, the part attaches together and now these two parts are part of the same object and they'll move around and they'll collide as one object um, now once the parts are attached rigidly you'll see, and when you freeze them again, you'll see that there's a, a little cross symbol um, where, kind of roughly where they're attached. And that, uh, if you hover over that, you'll see it shows you the type of attachment. And in this case, we're dealing with rigid attachments. So here we have a rigid attachment. Now, there, are, when if you have two ways of detaching a part. You can either hover over the part as a whole, and if I right click now, It'll detach the part, and you'll see um, it's free to move again. Um, and let's attach it once more. The other way is I can hover over the attachment itself and right-click that instead. And what that's done is it's deleted the attachment. These parts are now actually free to move, so I can pick this one up and c I can move it around again. And so that gives you two ways to detach parts. And in this case, there's only a single attachment between them, so they're basically the same. But let's try another example. So I'm going to hold down left shift and right click to delete this whole thing now. And let's bring up some more parts. So we'll bring up one beam here and we'll bring up another one and let's just attach it. We'll make a kind of square thing. Um, I'm going to hold down left shift and left click which will repeat attach the part so we can just do a bunch of them. So let's do that. Another one pops up and we can do one here and we'll do one here. Now what you'll see is that there are obviously the four parts connected in a square like this and it's actually created attachments at every contact point. Now if I just do the normal thing of highlighting the part and right clicking it'll detach the whole thing and it'll break both the attachments. But let's attach it once more. The other way that I mentioned before is to you can delete individual attachments. So let's try that. We'll just delete this one in this case, the part isn't free to move. It's still part of the rest of the construction. It hasn't been detached fully, even though that detachment's been taken away. To do that, we obviously have to go and delete this one as well. So let's do that. And now they are separate things again. And we can attach them again. This um, will have more impact as you ha build more construct, like sort of more complicated constructions, because obviously there's going to be more attachment points like for example if I attach um, this part on here you'll see that now oh, suddenly we've got attachment point here, here and here because there's, it's actually t attached to three different parts um, and you actually have to go and delete all of them to, br to separate the part or you can just delete the whole thing together um, again that has more impact the where the case in which is useful is it say I want to detach this part and this part but keep these ones together and keep these two together the way I can do that is I can actually go and delete that one and then delete that one and now we have these parts that I've separated but that remain as part of the same construction and these ones remain together uh, obviously this is a very simple case but in uh, more complicated situations it actually becomes very useful if you want to reposition a sort of sub-construction, if you like, or a subsection of your construction. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, look out for the next tutorial, which will be coming soon. Thanks for watching.